bit of a problem I've got here is basically this little battery light is permanently on. I don't actually know if it's faulty or not, so let's have a look underneath the van. Um, I just want to show where the light is. It's just a battery light, but in case somebody actually asks me later, where's the battery light? I've already done it. So basically, what have I got? Well, down here, um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've replaced this. As you can see, this is brand spanky new. But the other one was sort of like just burnt out, and it was connected to that little bit of wire that's dangling out of there. Um, so I've got to strip that out and carry out repair between there and there. But what I might do is initially just connect this bit of cable up to see if it takes the battery light off. Because if it does, it, it means there's nothing wrong with the alternator. Um, it's just basically the, the warning light is disconnected because this is a sensor, I believe. We go. I basically took it from there, and the cables start to do. And here, it's there. I just basically wired it from there to there. Test if that runs, and if it does, I'm just going to chop this off, crimp it, and that should actually fix the problem. As you can see, sensor light is now gone off. The battery warning light's off. It was simply a damaged cable. Now, word of warning. Um, an alternator is about 100 quid for a T4, this one. Um, I ordered a new set of bushes anyway, because I thought, well, vehicles had a, a fair run anyway. It ain't going to hurt to put a new set of bushes in the alternator. So that's cost me 12 euros. But this repair has cost me um, 6 euros, because I actually bought a toolkit, because I've got no tools here in Spain. But hey ho, the one thing it hasn't cost me is the 50, 50 euros the garage would have charged to do this and told me it was something a bit more major. Alright, thanks for watching.